Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Electron TV. For today's knowledge sharing video guys, is about uh, exhaust temperature of a uh, diesel generator guys, is uh, very high and it's not normal. The reading guys is uh, almost 700 plus degree Celsius. It's a uh, very high for uh, the diesel generator. And if we compare to the other generator that running normally, the reading gas is only 200 plus or 250 degrees Celsius. And in this video guys, I show you what I did, how to test the thermocouple or the exhaust temperature sensor of the generator and what is the cost, what is the parts that I replaced to fix that problem okay but guys before i start if you are new in my youtube channel it will be a pleasure to me guys if you click like and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh shout out to shuttle marine electromechanical training center in the philippines one of the best training center guys Okay guys, now here is the control panel of the generator number 1. Look, this is the analog meter for the excess temperature. The reading is 700 degrees Celsius. And that's the number 2, it's not running. And number 3 is running. We compare here, the normal excess temperature sensor is only... 200 200 plus therefore the number one is very high and that's our trouble here is the number three generator number two and the problem here is the number one alternator this is the exhaust temperature guys, the thermocouple for the exhaust. That's the exhaust. This one is turbo. I test the output of the thermocouple in the control panel. But we need to check the manual or the drawing diagram or the control panel of the generator okay guys here is the drawing or the manual it's a dirty you know for the temp speed sensor this is the exhaust temperature sensor thermocouple we have uh, positive and negative because the output of this sensor is uh, millivolts that's why I have a negative and positive from terminal 21 and 22 going to B3 and B3 going to P5 exhaust temperature gauge number 18 and 17 okay and we have another temperature gauge remote exhaust this one is I think in the ECR okay. let's check the panel guys where is that B3 ok here here is the B3 B3 guys this is the B3 white we have a white label uh, WB20F they said calibrated and 21 and 22 here we can test here the output of the exhaust temperature sensor connect from here okay 
and this is the analog meter for 20 milliampere input analog meter now I test the output guys here is my tester I set in uh, millivolts I check now if it's the sensor if it's good or no millivolts Twenty one, twenty two. We have an output fifteen point three millivolts output of the temperature sensor or thermocouple. And I think, guys, the thermocouple is good. We check also here, it's the same fifteen point three millivolts. Okay guys, here I download the table chart for a thermocouple to know what type of thermocouple I test because thermocouple we have a different type J, K, E, N, T and those four thermocouple guys is different reading or output in the degree celsius that's why it's uh, very important to know what type of uh, thermocouple we test. Okay, uh, here is the type K table. Type K thermocouple. Thermoelectric voltage in uh, millivolts. So here we can check if it's the thermocouple it's accurate reading or the same but I'm not sure because the manual did not say what type of thermocouple we test here is the 15.3 and the equivalent is 370 degrees celsius it's uh, very high if we compare in the generator number 3 that the rating is almost 200 plus I think that's the not the type K try to try to letter J type J here is the 15.3 and the equivalent is 280 degrees Celsius little bit lower than to type K here is the type E type E 15.3 here 220 degrees celsius 226 ok I think the type E is the thermocouple that I test because it's almost uh, the same if we compare in the generator number 3 that uh, working normal okay we consider now the thermocouple is good and that's the thermocouple is uh, type E because this is the nearest 220 plus the others is too high okay but guys you see the meter is 420 milliampere input and the output of the thermocouple came from here is millivolts so this module guys is a signal converter 
they convert the millivolts into milliampere and I think this one is not working normally because the thermocouple is good now I test the supply we have uh, 26 volts 0.52 supply and let's check the output and the output of this converter guys is a milliampere going in the analog meter I disconnect uh, one wire now it's zero and I connect the multimeter guys and set in the milliampere to test the milliampere output of the converter milliampere here positive and this here is the negative the output of converter guys is 19.26 it's very high almost 20 and that's why I think this uh, converter is not working properly I try to find the spare if we have and replace to see if this is the problem and now guys I found the spare and it's not a uh, new it's a use and I'm not sure if it's good or no because you see it's a uh, old and uh, made in China I cannot read here is 3 4 is the supply 24 volts and 1 and 2 is the output going to the analog meter and 7 and 8 is the input from the sensor 420 milliampere input and some others I cannot read and I hope it's uh, working Seven and eight, five and six, uh, nothing, nothing. Three and four is the supply input. One and two is the output. Okay, guys, I replace and let's see. Okay, now, guys, I already removed and replace I already connect all the wires here and uh, let's check the output if it's good or no and now guys the new have an output of 7.35 and I think it's working and it's good okay seven point thirty two I think it's good Now I already put back the connection in the analog meter. And now the output guys is uh, 200. Now guys is a uh, problem solved. I'm uh, finished for today.
that's it guys and uh, don't forget guys to click like and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and to all of my subscriber thank you for supporting my youtube channel and watching my video take care always guys and uh, see you in my next knowledge sharing video Bye, bye.